come on and pack your camping gear for the same place we go every year oh i can't wait to hang out with my friends with my friends mug fights food fights tanning lines i'm gonna leave the normie world behind to dance with cuties at the water's end but when the sun goes down the trees are mutated is my flashlight fading or am I hallucinating? did it you're a hero delilah patronize me delilah i wasn't give me those marshmallows i'd like one bar of chocolate please they have enough chocolate in that pantry to last us through a nuclear war oh don't say that things are bad enough you're gonna like manifest it you are such a dyke you know when my dad calls me a dyke, it hurts my feelings, but when you call me one, it just validates my identity. Well, I'm happy to validate your stupid identity. <sighs> You're in a mood. I have the thrills! Like when you're stealing nail polish from the Walgreens. I saw Counselor Jazz sneaking out of the pantry as I was sneaking in, and I think she was doing the same thing <sighs> because of the lunch staff. She even waved to me, but you know what was really weird? I could have sworn I heard the rooster crowing while I was out there. The Walgreens? You just like slip nail polish into your purse? You too stress me out. And don't even get me started on the lunch stop. Wait, the rooster? Oh, speaking of the Walgreens. Mm, I don't, know. <laughs> don't tell. I won't. I'm gonna sneak out in like 10 minutes anyways to sell friendship bracelets at the meeting pit. So fair is fair. You know what, Ava? Maybe you don't totally suck that hard after all. Lila. <sighs> okay, let me try again. Ava, you are a smart and capable person and I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Delilah and I are trying this thing where we meet each other in the middle in terms of energy. That's why we're smoking cigarettes. That's also how she got me to spread that rumor about how the chicken fingers at dinner were actually cluckifer. These campers are so gullible. Like, please, that chicken was all feathers and bones. You could have made like six fingers tops. My older sister was born with six fingers. I mean, technically she was born with 12 and they snipped the extras right off right when she came out and she still has these like little bumps. <coughs> Could you get in trouble for selling <coughs> friendship bracelets? <coughs> Maybe. <coughs> what are they gonna do, kick me out? It's not uh. summer anyway and I'll be in college in like barely two months. And if I come back next summer as a counselor, I'll obviously not charge campers for friendship bracelets. I'm gonna miss this place. Did you know that friendship bracelets were popularized in the US during the 1980s? When they were seen during protests against the genocide of thousands of Mayan people in contemporary Guatemala? A genocide that was conducted at the encouragement and with the assistance of the US military. I did not. Jesus, Ava. The Wikipedia article for friendship bracelets states that those people of which there were 40,000 had disappeared. And it does not link to a detailed Wikipedia article entitled Guatemalan Genocide. It does state that friendship bracelets are an ideal accessory at the beach. So there's an example of how media can be manipulated. Well, okay, now I feel terrible. 
Yeah, and I got a B minus on the essay I wrote about it. So there's an example of how US educational institutions promote a warped understanding of our history that supports this country's imperialist agenda and discourages students from searching for deeper okay, truths. We get it, Ava. Do you? Uh, does Councilor Robin know this about friendship bracelets? <laughs> I told them last week. They said they start mentioning it during craft time. <laughs> and that they'd pay me 20 bucks to put up an info poster in the arts and crafts cabin. When's the last time you saw them? If they give us one more lecture on white supremacy, I'm going to shit myself. They're trying. I wish they'd try a little less. At dinner, they said they had a couple of errands to run tonight, but that they'd be back in time for check-in. I don't think they're supposed to leave us alone for this long. Are you still gonna let me pluck your eyebrows? Do we have to? Why don't you just vape, smell-wise? Delilah is an Aries rising. She does not compromise. I'm not trying to like force some toppy fem shit on you that you don't want to do. I mean, I don't want you to feel like I'm pressuring you into like plucking your eyebrows or stealing nail polish or smoking cigarettes or whatever. I don't do any of that stuff and I've kissed more girls than anyone I know and boys, and a couple of gender queers. <laughs> Delilah could give you a run for your money. <laughs> you haven't kissed anyone all summer, Ava. Okay. It is true that I'm practicing a period of celibacy this season at Camp Strangewood. Last summer, I got caught up in way too much drama. I'm spending this time to really live in my body and interrogate my desires. Um, sure. Anyways, this is the stuff that makes me happy, Avril. And you're my friend. And like, you liked the eyeliner we tried. And you don't have um, women role models in your home life. <laughs> That's how my mom phrased it. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to like offer you some options. No, no, I mean, I, I want to try it. It's just. Is it gonna hurt? Wait, you and your mom talk about my home life? It only hurts in the inner corners and it's gonna feel really good afterwards and it'll frame your face really, really well. And, and we can stop anytime you want. Enthusiastic consent. You're gonna look gorgeous. You're already gorgeous, Avril. Uh, yes, totally. <laughs> Did y'all know? that my family goes to Hershey Park every year. Do you like roller coasters? Yeah, do you? Uh, yes. <laughs> Delilah, didn't you just chicken out in the ropes course? I swear to God, Avril. I heard you <laughs> cried. <laughs> I hate you both. <sighs> my, my dad said that Hershey's chocolate tastes faintly of stomach bile. Well, your dad is an emotionally stunted douchebag. Oh, is that what your mom told you to say? Okay, sorry. I appreciate it. Sorry I teased you about the ropes course. A roller coaster is over quickly in a way that the ropes course is not. There's no like constant input required of me on a roller coaster. And last year I didn't even try the ropes course. So this is really like a victory for me. <laughs> And also, I will not be ashamed for crying. Crying is a transformative expression of vulnerability. Someday I want a family like yours, Ava. Oh, do you like Hershey Park? Me and my dad went once. That's when he said the thing about the stomach bile. You want your kids to have to juggle the expectations of three parents, their two live-in lovers, and a vast resulting network of extended family all at the same time. Oh, and don't even get me started on the sheer volume of family check-ins. I'm being harsh. I, there's a lot of love in our house. I'm very fortunate. I'm just excited to like spread my wings, I think. The roller coasters are great. And, and the hotel has a lot of chocolate and a, and a really nice veranda. And I agree with your dad about the stomach bile. Oh, also, the mascots are creepy. Yes, the kiss is like something out of a, out of a torture porn movie. Like you- like They cut off someone's arm and sold it to the inside of their suit. Yes, 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 exactly. Oh, I love torture porn. Oh, 
I also like regular porn. I think when I start having sex, I'm going to be like really kinky. What is this? The Hershey mascots. Oh, the, the Hershey Park mascots are. Sorry, I, you, you were talking. That's okay. No, you. They're just like these humanoid chocolate bars and stuff. They're gross. <laughs> Your new hair is really cute, Delilah. Are you flirting with me? Maybe. <laughs> oh my God, stop it, I'm right here. Avril wants to make out with- oh, Shut up. She's just really nice to me and she has very cute freckles and have you seen her in the high vault? I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Wait, who? No, no. Sorry. Don't. Ava doesn't go to our school, dude. She doesn't even know her. Just don't. Okay, I won't. But only because you wouldn't. But now you have to do something else. Something I would do. What? Text her. I can't text up here. You, Can were, you? Uh, you were listening to music? Uh, downloads. I wish I had my phone on me this morning. I really wanted to get a picture of Cluckerfer Wobble Waddle. Oh, hey, come on, that's gross. It's not every day that you see a rooster with its neck bent like that. I was canoeing with Marina on the lake today, and she told me that Counselor Jim was talking to Head Counselor Durden, and apparently the rooster had like thin tire tracks all over it, and that probably somebody accidentally ran it over with a mountain bike. And the counselors and the staff are the only ones who have access to mountain bikes, so it must have been one of them. You ever notice Marina's skin is always a little wet? The reason I started seeing a therapist is that sometimes I have really detailed thoughts about hurting myself. It's Counselor Robin. I'm coming in. Does anybody need a minute? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, come in. Hey, kiddos. Who are you calling kiddos? Aren't you like 19? I'm 20. Smells like cigarettes in here. Oh, that's just residual campfire smell. <laughs> Listen, uh, y'all know I'm not like punitive or into hierarchical power structures or anything like that. And as a member of the Radical Drug Use Action Committee at my school, I am not gonna be a person who's gonna report you for smoking cigarettes. Is kiddos condescending? Should I stop saying that? Counselor Robin, I was- what? can be a vector towards pleasure and creativity. Totally. I mean, I smoke pot. I drop acid uh, occasionally. I'm not afraid to tell you that. And you don't need me to tell you how bad cigarettes are for your health. My ask of you is that you avoid breaking camp rules where somebody might easily catch you, which includes the confines of this cabin. Is that fair? <laughs> fair, is that fair? Um, I think that's fair. I do think you should stop calling us kiddos. Agreed. But what if the rules are inherently unjust? I mean, who gets to decide what I put in my body? Camp Director Dawn? Like, shouldn't we commit to resisting any directive that exists only to control us? Okay. That's a good point. Shit. Plus, Robin, the greatest harm that comes from drugs is the way we punish the people who use and sell them. Totally, totally. But um, those are the rules. And I'm not sure that fighting to allow underage campers to smoke cigarettes is... Um, a productive use of our energies. I have no interest in disciplining you. I especially have no interest in letting fucking Don discipline you. But I also can't lose this job. I need the money. Just, if you're going to be stupid, which you are, just be smart about it. Smoke like in the trees behind the cabin or something. Fine. 
Oh, and, and please, 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 please get each other's consent for any sex stuff. I, I'm sure you all will because, like, you're kind and intelligent people, and I'm absolutely blessed to be your camp counselor this summer. But just to say it. We have something more pressing than cigarettes. What? Did you know that the lunch staff is intentionally underfeeding the residents of Cabin 3? Jazz told me. Wait, are they underfeeding you? No, but they've been calling Delilah and I by each other's names for years. Also, they keep calling me one of the good ones. Clear, this shit is racial. And in the case of underfeeding children, it is a serious, serious problem. Okay. I mean, uh, I'd like to acknowledge that I'm a work white person and y'all are not, and I'm in a position of authority here, so... Ugh. Yes, Robin, that's why we're telling you. Okay, tomorrow let's draft up an action plan, re the lunch staff, and I can figure out how to advocate for I, I really need to go. Action plan tomorrow, definitely. Anyway, um, I have to go do something. I'll be back before check-in. Please don't tell anybody I've been leaving you alone all night. Bye. Today we bury an old friend, Cluckifer Wobble Waddle. He was kept Strangewood's rooster for as long as any of us can remember. He woke us every morning at sunrise. Most of us went right back to sleep. Oh, thank you, Cluckifer Wobble Waddle, for showing us the true meaning of discipline. You woke every morning to fulfill your destiny. Even when nobody was watching. Even when nobody cared. We should have loved you better when you were alive. We hope that the worms and the dirt and the fungi of this forest gain sustenance from your body. And in their forms may your spirit live on. I'm not crazy, right? You two just heard a rooster? Yeah. Yeah? Delilah, are you okay? I mean, I'm seeing a therapist and I'm like telling my friends and I've been feeling pretty okay for most of the summer. Okay. We care about you. I hope you know that. Yeah. I know. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go to the meeting pit before Robin comes back. Mm, take care. And if you have to be stupid, be smart about it. 10-4, Counselor Delilah. Uh, what if I came with you and we made out a little bit on the way back? No, Delilah. Okie doke. You're unbelievable. I can't help it. I have a high libido. Well, I'm at least as horny as you are, and you don't see me trying to fuck everyone I know. Would you like to give it a try? I mean, yeah, but like... Uh, right now? What? <clears throat> Can I kiss you? Um... Yes, please. I didn't know you felt that way. Uh, I didn't until my mom and I picked you up last month and you were wearing those boots. Kiss me again. I've been into you since like fourth grade. I mean, I've been like lusting. I know. Oh, I don't want to be your girlfriend, though. Uh, me neither, Avril. I just want to see you naked. Uh, when did Robin say they'd be back? 
Uh, don't know. I heard a rumor that they're hosting a counselors only punk rock night with counselor jazz. <laughs> oh, can we wait to take our clothes off uh, until we get back home? We could use my bedroom. My dad's always working. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I want to keep kissing you. Keep kissing me then. <laughs> It's just that you're really freaking me out. You're supposed to be taking care of us, you know? <clears throat> I tried to go to the nurse's office, but the The nurse is in bed and the door's And I- Something really screwed up is happening. Well, Robin, what are you doing? I think I'm sick. Hey, pals. Um. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm having uh, such a weird night. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, I have club cover wobble wobble sparks. Okay. And, um, okay, I can't, I can't, I can't really explain this, but like, I was just gonna like pull you back in the grave after I got the well water for the lungs. But then he told me that I should bring the corpse here. Um, club cover wobble wobble. He, told me that his, um, a ghost, he, he said, he said, he said that you would be able to help him, whatever that means, so, um, here you go. Ew, ew. Later. <laughs> Frankie, what the hell? That smells really terrible. Oh, no. What? <laughs> What are you? I am Glucky for Wobble Waddle, and you will hear my. Oh, shut up, shut up! Are you a ghost? <laughs> We're seeing a ghost, Avril. Heed my words, or this one will soon be a mindless human shell, able to do nothing but cook and crawl and crawl. <laughs> Since this camp rooster's rest will find him clucking in their breast. The cock who crowed the sun's ascent is now deceased and heaven sent. You'll know the one who rooster killed. A transformation shows their guilt. And if you wish to change them back, a ritual must be performed. The body of the rooster must be placed within a circle of some twigs and sticks as dry as dust. The human who hath killed the fowl shall one piece of their own life give. A pinky finger sliced off and placed atop the feathers soft. Then spray the blood from killer's hand over rooster feathers finger for a moment. Let it linger. Then light the circle up with flame and speak three times the rooster's name. Then will the ritual complete the rooster rise up to his feet. The killer's changes will subside and thus the score will be as tied. I feel so awful, everybody. I was on my early morning mountain bike ride. The forest air was crisp and fresh. I didn't see him beneath my... Counselor Robin's finger off. Well, <laughs> but what will happen if we don't? I wish to have my own body back, but if I cannot, I will make do with that of the one who killed me. A lesser frame, but serviceable. I won't have any of my campers getting dragged into this. You know. I never meant to be an accursed ghost rooster. You know, I never meant to be an accursed ghost rooster. No, I'm not listening to you. Get out of my head. Uh, get out of my head. Clucky fur wobble waddle will return in one way or another. Let me have my body back and you may retain your own. 
albeit one human pinky finger lighter. better way to do this, one where we don't have to maim our counselor. The terms are not of my design. I have lived in this campground for 40 years as a peaceful rooster. My lifespan extended by the consumption of the strange wood moths. How could I have known that such a dalliance with the moths would curse my spirit to return upon the exhumation of my corpse and possess whomever wielded the weapon which hath slain my earthly form? Uh, a mountain bike is not a weapon. Did you say your corpse was exhumed? Anything can be a weapon in the wrong hands. My corpse was indeed exhumed. The child crones residing within the bunk of true knowledge and understanding have pulled me from the very ground in which I lay. I listen to them perform their strange misguided ritual as my body lay inert. They desire to cleanse this campground of all dark and malevolent spirits. These child crones misunderstand the utter strength of this place as a magnet. Time and time again, some child or another tries to cast out the powers that congregate here. And time and time again, the powers return. That is why their faction of child crones hath splintered. Polarity. Wait, Frankie's cabin? Uh, Frankie isn't a crone. They just get bullied. I have spoken with the moths. If we perform this ritual, I will live out the remainder of my natural days and then I will die in the standard rooster's fashion. Can I just point out, Cluckifer Wobble Waddle, that your corpse smells really, really bad? I vote we do it. I do too. Oh, I don't know. I'm not letting any of you get involved. I'll find another way to- <laughs> Fuck you, you shit parade bird fuck! Pardon me. I said, fuck you. You spent 40 years eating weird ass radiation moths because you couldn't handle the privilege of getting old and when your dumb mistakes turned into have disturbing consequences, you decided the best thing to do would be to use your demon rooster magic to threaten a bunch of teenagers into helping you? Well, who fucking raised you? <sighs> no person raised me. I am a rooster. Your dickhead is what you are. <sighs> is this one going to be a liability? She's angry, and justifiably so, I might add. Do you want to make this work, Avril? I'm not even sure. Well, you need to relax. It sounds like he didn't want this either. <laughs> Don't tell me to relax. This is a big decision for us to make, Delilah. This is mutilation. Breathe for me, then. <laughs> You're going to fix this. Okay. Okay. I'm breathing. <sighs> I love you, Avril. We'll get through this. <sighs> Cluckifer Wobble Waddle, I have a question. Yes. If we bring you back to life, 
are you going to be a good rooster? Because if you're going to be the kind of rooster who like shits on our doorsteps because he can't handle his own ghost trauma, this deal is off. All I want is to be a good rooster. I have a support system of very kind local birds. Besides, the other ghosts are entirely unpleasant. Uh, other ghosts? Certainly. I knew of a little singing ghost child long before my death. And just earlier tonight, I met a pair of long deceased campers sitting out at the meeting pit over a ghost fire. I was having a mild panic attack over this situation regarding my body, and they said to me, that just more firewood, douche knuckle. Oh. I think cooperating with Cluckifer Wobble Waddle to bring him back is the right move. He's a ghost. He's possessing Counselor Robin. I doubt he can even help it. And ghosts don't just stop. If this is going to work, you can't be shouting at him the whole time. I hate this. Hold my hand. I just want to add that I also think you, a, you are a shit parade bird fuck. We just went over this. Stop it! Stop it! No more of this, or I mangled your body so badly, you won't want it back. Are you really going to take my pinky? It must be laying upon the corpse. I'm scared. This is gonna suck. We can stop by the nurse's office for supplies. We'll take care of you. We'll um, sterilize the knife. What if someone sees us all outside the cabin? We lie. Yes, we lie. What should we lie about? Uh, we'll improvise. If we make up a story now, we'll be in our heads and we'll mess it up. Uh, we'll improvise. I'll take the lead. And you're gonna what? Chop off my pinky and show me closed? While I was out there, I saw a van parked by the flagpole. On the side of it, it said River Run Incorporated. I've had my driver's license for like two years now. So what I'm thinking is that I'll drive you to the hospital. We, we won't sew you up ourselves. We'll do like a, a tourniquet. What about the key? The what? How are we going to drive the van without the key? Oh, that's a good question. The key is in the glove compartment. It is? How do you know that? That van has been here before, and that repair man has been here before. Once he tried to kick me and I pecked him in the shin. I told you, this campground is a magnet. I have lived in this place for 40 years. Sometimes it is new monsters and sometimes it is the same monsters who have been coming to these grounds for decades. I never expected that I would be one of them myself. He always leaves his key in the glove compartment. I don't know if I can do this. You don't have to do anything. Avril and I will take care of you in the back seat. No more of this. We're doing it. I do love this energy, Avril. Come on! Please, no. I don't want to be a monster anymore. Did you notice that someone ripped the lungs out of Cluckifer's body? I mean, how's he gonna breathe? Please help me get through this. We're gonna take care of you, Counselor Robin. 
I mean, we are gonna cut your pinky finger off, but otherwise we will do everything we can to keep you safe. It's like you said, we are kind and intelligent people and we'll take care of you. And you're going to have to trust us. Let's go. Kids, kids. Dear goodness, there's no one in here. Oh, hey, Counselor Durden. <laughs> What's up? Lila, where's the rest of cabin five? You know, that is a great question, Counselor Durden. I ask myself that question every day. Come back here! Do not try to run after me. You will pull a muscle. It smells like smoke in here. And, um, ugh, rotting flesh. Have you all been smoking cigarettes? Did Julep give you cigarettes? We can't have another cancer cluster, seriously. Counselor Robin, paging Counselor Robin. I can't find any of your, what was it? I can't find any of your kiddos from cabin five. Note that it smells like cigarette smoke in here, Counselor Robin. And, and note that I still want them to pick a better name than cabin five. Also note that I heard a rumor that they were throwing a rager in the cabin tonight, which there's no one in here, so. But could they be throwing a rager elsewhere on camp property? Given that there's, seeing as none of them are in here and it smells like cigarette smoke, I'm pretty sure the camp rules expressly forbids um, ragers. Robin, hello? These counselors, honestly, the death of me. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, catch them, catch them. Oh God, I didn't think they'd faint. I can't believe I just did that. Cockifer! 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 The curse has lifted. I return to my own body, my own life. I'll wake at break of day as I have done for years and years gone by. I'll do for years and years to come. I'll crow and cluck at everyone that it is time for them to wake until my final death doth break. Does everybody have their seatbelt on? Are you serious? Put your fucking seatbelt on, Delilah, I swear to God. <sighs> hey, when we were running across to the nurse's office, I could see something or someone or like maybe a group of people splashing around in the lake. I think I'm gonna throw up. Uh, uh, you're not gonna throw up. Hey, listen, repeat after me. I am not going to throw up. I am not going to throw up. I can't believe how fast that rooster took off. Have you ever even seen a rooster run like that? And the way it was gasping for breath? Here we go. <sighs> You're losing a lot of blood, Avril. I know, I know. I'm trying to just like stem the tide. Oh, it hurts. I know, sweetheart, keep breathing. <laughs> the 
Just like that. Ava, how far to the hospital? 45 minutes, but we're gonna make it in 30. I, I, I've never driven anything this big before. <laughs> Actually, can you pull the map up on- I don't have reception yet. That is why you're wearing your seatbelts. Hey, hey, um, listen to this. The toilet is directly connected to the sink and I water my flowers and shower in my own dirty water and I'm drinking dirty and shitting dirtier and drinking dirtier and shitting. Avril, what the fuck? I found this folder in between the seats. I don't really want to stop because the pipes are built that way. Just put it back, Avril. No, but it's just full of this crazy shit. Like, wait, listen to this one. I can't watch movies anymore because the movies started watching me. Because I urinated on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the dark of a, lonely, of a lonely night. And now the actors all watch me from the corners of their eyes. They snicker at my down below part. Uh, put it back. Do you ever feel like you're living in a television show? Like that if you could look down at Camp, Camp Stranger at all at the same time and, and see everything, it might actually make sense for a change. Like if you could binge it. Need to do something about lunch staff. I woke this morning to find a pile of teeth in my slippers. Like it's not enough to be one person in one body going through life one day at a time. They must have been freshly extracted where their roots were wet against my toes as I slid my feet inside the shoes. You have to be many people in many bodies, living many lives, many days at a time. Rooster. The rooster won't bother you anymore, Counselor Robin. Avril, you have to stop. In order to understand that all the disparate bits are actually intersecting facets of a complex system designed to benefit only a wealthy bourgeoisie, that whiteness and patriarchy and mass incarceration and the economy are tools by which- It did not take me long to find the mouth from which they came. Christ. No way. I stole a car, Delilah. I stole a car and I ran over someone. People go to jail for this stuff, Delilah. They also cut off somebody's finger. I feel so weak. I can't go to prison, Delilah. Our prisons are like fully inhumane. Ava, does it look like something is on fire over there? It's coming from the cabins. Somehow, I don't think we're ever coming back to Camp Strangewood. This is not how I wanted to say goodbye. I'm sorry, love. Drive! What was it? I said drive! Was it a kid? A what? No! Was it an adult? No, it wasn't a person! It, was it? Ava, I just, I need you to just drive. Just tell us we're scared! It was a kid, wasn't it? It wasn't a kid. It wasn't a person at all. Um. We ran over the rooster. I hope he's dead for good.